Hey, what is up everybody? This is Signal Processing with Paul. And in this video, what I wanna do, and it's a quick video, is talk about the expected value of a random variable or the expectation of a random variable. So if I have a random variable x, the expectation operator, e of x, will return a single number. So it's supposed to be a number that somehow summarizes my random variable in some particular way. So we're gonna be losing information in some sense, but we wanna to try to represent this by a single number that we use to capture maybe measures of I don't know, just some sort of measure of the random variable itself. And the expectation is simply defined as, you know, this will just be something you have to remember, but we'll explain why this makes sense. The integral from minus infinity to infinity of x times fx of x dx. So what this here is, is the probability density function of our random variable x. And all we do is we simply multiply it by x. Notice how if I didn't multiply this by x, if I just had, you know, the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f of x, I would just get one because that would be integrating over the probability distribution. But because our random variable is mapping outcomes to a measurable space, which x is a member of, like little x being like, let's say the reals or something like this, what the expectation is doing is it's sort of capturing the fact that x means something, and we're basically encoding larger values of x in with the probability distribution at those particular points. So we're somehow capturing the value of x in addition to its probability when we have this measure. And what comes out of this is often a value that we represent as the mean. Mu of x is often the way we write it. And what this corresponds to is basically if I was to have some distribution like this, um, it corresponds to basically the point at which if you were to put a little triangle on the distribution, the whole thing would balance. This is literally the center of mass. This is the center of mass expression that you'll see in physics, calculus-based physics all the time. And this really does correspond with the point at which if you were to take the density function, it would balance itself out. Now, when I say that we're losing information we, when we do this, notice how if I have two, I can think of two random variables that have an expected value of x. One of them would be some sort of uniform distribution from minus one to basically, let's say, well, let's, let's do from one to three with height of one half. So this is a valid random probability distribution. This would basically have an expected value Let's call this y, expected value of y equals two. So this is my random variable y. And then of course I can have a random variable z that looks like this. It basically um, from zero to minus one and then from four to five like this, um, its expectation, its expected value is also two. So this would still be the point that balances it because these guys kind of cancel each other out. Um, the expected value of z equals two, but in both cases, we've kind of captured something interesting about these distributions, even though we are somehow losing information. So this is what the expectation is. Remember to think about it as just kind of like finding the center of mass or the, the, the yeah, the center of mass of the probability distribution that captures the random variable is I think a good way to think about it. And in the next video, what we'll do is talk about LOTUS or law of the unconscious statistician. So we'll see you then.